All right, hey, it's Spencer. I'm here with my Napoli pizza oven, and I'm going to fire it up today. As you can see, I had the gas burner in there, and it has awesome results. It's super good. However, I wanted to do the wood fire again because the flavor's awesome, and now that it's gotten colder, I want to try it and see how it goes. So the ambient temperature is around 37 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Pretty cold. And what I've got here, so this is just a marshmallow stick poker so that I can move my coals around laser thermometer and then here I've got wood pellets when I start the grill I love to use wood pellets because they put off a lot of high heat and then I've got mesquite chunks is what I'm going with today so if you come over here I'll show you what we're gonna do so I'm gonna take about that much it ends up being around a half a cup of pellets and I am going to just pour it right in there on the tray here, that's perfect. Yeah, you can see that. Awesome. Then I'm going to take these pieces of wood. You can come over here, Daniel. And just set them in there around the pellets. Put one here. Be really careful to not put a ton of wood right here because you will block the vent and the flow of air coming in from the back. Right here. So I try to put them around. Get this one a little bit up here up front. And then... I've got my burns o MAP torch, I'll light it up, and then I've got a simple gooseneck USB fan that I find is pretty much necessary to get a good draft and a good flame. So, take the torch and just stick it right on the, there you go, now you can hear me, but stick it right there on the pellets for, I don't know, about 30 seconds, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how it's going. All right, so once the flame's going, you can see it in there. You can take your marshmallow stick and you can scoot over some of that wood if you need to and get it so it's more on the pellets. And then the key is to get that fuel door on and then come around here to the front. And you can see we've got a nice flame right up inside. And it'll take a few minutes to get all of those chunks going and it'll take about 20, or at least when it was warmer temperatures, about 20 to get it going so we can cook. We'll be back then. Okay, here we are. This is about five minutes into lighting the flames and getting the fuel door on. And this is one thing that the gas burner cannot do. You can see those flames licking the top of the dome of that oven. And when you get cooking, I feel like the wood or the charcoal, just anything but the gas, really heats it up more evenly. On the gas one, it's fantastic for convenience, but there is a lot of heat toward the back of the oven. If you look in the upper right of the oven there against the sky, you can see some black sooty smoke coming out. When you've got that coming out, you wanna wait. If you don't, you're going to get really bitter tasting, smoky, bad smoke flavored pizza, and that is not what you want. All right, here I am. This is probably about 20 minutes. There's the laser right there. You can kind of see it. And it looks like we're sitting at about five, mid 500s in the front and in the middle. Oops, sorry, that's horrible. About 700 in the middle and about 850 in the back. 